Revealed is an exhibition that celebrates Aboriginal Australian practice from Western Australia with this lens of looking at emerging artists and that can be young people but it can also be a 75 year old that's just picked up a paintbrush in the last few years. And the exhibition kind of gives a, a, a real sort of cut through moment into looking at what's been happening in the last 12 months across this state which is you know massive. One of the complexities around Revealed is that it always happens on Wajak Noongar country and over the last, you know, eight years I guess that Revealed has been here, the Arts Centre has done a lot of work to kind of ensure that there's really good representation of Wajak Noongar people but more broadly Noongar people from all of the Noongar nations. This year, upon entering um, from the two different sort of entry points into the exhibition, you encounter Noongar women. Enid Kickett's landscape works which are on paper plates and there's about 60 of them on display are a celebration of Nunga country. And then upon entering the main entrance for our reception you encounter the work of Jade Dolman or JD Penanka. The work is really about voice, you know, you see the word wankan in there which is Nunga for voice. This year is the first time I've been involved with Revealed. The message behind the mural is, is super important, which it always is. The, the story is always more important than what it looks like. This one, I want people to take away the importance of talking about the referendum and what having a voice in Parliament would mean. Working with JB wanted to do something that celebrated Noongar country, Wajak Noongar country, that talked about the voice, that wasn't a work that was overtly political upon first sight. With my mural, I've represented almost like a map of the river and where the river meets the ocean, which is very significant in Wallyalup, Fremantle, as yeah, this is the place where those two huge bodies of water meet. It's very bright and colourful with all of like the pastel colours and it's very textured so I kind of wanted it to feel alive as it's like a moving thing. This was the first time I had done this texture with a different tool so I've kind of got like a dabbing textured look of all the colours in the background. I did that using a kitchen scrubbing brush, <laughs> which was like the perfect tool to use, but you would never think to go to the cleaning aisle in Bunnings and use that for the perfect texture. Revealed is always an opportunity for people to experiment and to kind of be playful in their practices. And so this year we have one artist uh, in Mandy White's work where we have some paintings which depict these really great characters with a lot of personality. And she's also, with that work, presented a, an animation alongside and this really kooky little sculpture called Splat. Just one artist presenting three different mediums and, and working with facilitators to create a really lively animation is exciting. Ultimately, the biggest surprise for those who don't have a great sort of awareness or education around um, Aboriginal Australian art is just the diversity in terms of what comes out of this state. Like, there are so many aesthetic traditions, there are so many materials, there are so many approaches to sharing stories in Revealed that for me, I'm always left in awe of the fact that artists invent new ways to do things all the time. I've never considered there was boundaries for painting. I'm a tradition landscaper, but I stepped out of my comfort zone of landscape and I did some intricate paintings running up. If you're up in a plain, you're looking down at land and the different colours of the land and the water that combines together. That's the first time I ever did running art, experience in that kind of manner. And the other one was doing painting with spatulas. The little, little spades or whatever they call them, the little spatulas. So, and I just wanted to have straight tall trees <laughs> along the riverbeds. It blows your mind when, when you think about your traditional painting 
or your artwork, and then all of a sudden you got, when you step out of your comfort zone into doing intricate um, artwork, it really opens up your eyes to see, yes, you can do anything. The contrast between JD and Valerie is pretty dramatic, but I think as Nyungar women, like together their work tells a, a pretty cohesive story about knowledge, community, kin and care, care for each other, care for our environment. Really special to have artists from such a, a kind of broad experience kind of in the exhibition. I do think with like Indigenous art, our stories have always been just as important, but now we have like all of these different tools to show those stories. So all different colours and textures and materials. So I think that's really wonderful that we're able to still create the same meaningful art, but in a different way. Art is like a gift for us. It runs through our veins. I get so um, not emotional or I just get happy about sharing my, sharing my passion and my love for, for art. I think the most important thing you want people to walk away with is like a, a sense of just how many people are working tirelessly to ensure that Aboriginal histories and Aboriginal realities are shared with the world. Revealed is an exhibition, but it is a mirror of the absolute generosity of First Nations people around this country. At a time when our lives are being looked at under a microscope, Revealed reminds our audiences and reminds our community that there is so much generosity and warmth and goodwill that continues to flow out of Aboriginal communities. Mm -hmm.